Hello, this is Josh Stevens again, Head Geek at SolarWinds. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to monitor network traffic and specifically as you've implemented QoS or quality of service on the network, how to leverage technology like NetFlow to be sure that you've made the right types of changes and prioritize the right types of traffic and not deprioritize other types of traffic to the extent that you're causing user application issues. Now, as you're aware, you know, Orion Network Performance Monitor or Orion NPM provides a lot of visibility into the network, specifically around fault and performance management, and of course some of the key performance management metrics are on bandwidth utilization and bandwidth usage on your core router links and even switch ports and, and, uh, and VLANs and uplinks. But one of the key differentiators of NetFlow is that it actually shows you who is using that traffic and what they're doing with it. So NetFlow tells you, tells you not only how much traffic is present, but again, which users are generating the traffic, what applications they're using, what protocols, on what port numbers, and where they're going, whether it's to an application server or, or a website like YouTube, it gives you those details. Now as you start to deploy NetFlow and really start to analyze and prioritize your traffic, you're going to want to be able to see traffic by QoS type. And within NetFlow, you'll see you can actually now sort the traffic not only by domain or you know, specific conversations, but also by types of service or TOS. And types of service is another way to use differentiated services to really understand and prioritize the traffic. Now, once you've implemented QoS, though, you know, one of the things you want to be able to do is to be able to drill down and specifically see for the network that you've optimized, is the QoS working correctly? Um, are you able to see, for instance, if you've deprioritized uh, email traffic so badly that you're starting to get lots of queue drops and so that traffic is never getting its chance uh, to get across the network? And so with Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer, you can actually now drill down all the way into seeing uh, the class-based QoS or CBQoS. And let me just show you that now. I'm going to go ahead and click on the NetFlow Traffic Analysis tab here. And I'm going to drill down on one of the interfaces uh, here on this network. Now, not only will I see the, the top fives by applications and protocols and endpoints, I can actually now drill down and see specifically for each QoS type, each, each post policy and pre policy class map, how the traffic is flowing and how it changes as it goes through my router and has QoS policies applied to it. I can also then track drops on a per queue level to really understand if the QoS I've implemented is working in the way I intended. Now, when you team this with the ability that's inherent within NetFlow to see traffic by quality of service or type of service, then you really start to understand that what you have here is, is a very good and detailed view of both how the traffic is performing normally and how your QoS settings have modified the traffic and whether or not you're causing actually more harm than good, and which will allow you to, of course, tweak, tweak those QoS settings. Uh, and to make really the most efficient network performance you can from the bandwidth you have available. So in a nutshell, again, that's the new version of the Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer. And specifically, we've wrapped up both uh, QoS monitoring in terms of native NetFlow and also some new features around CBQoS and showing you how you can actually verify that the QoS that you're using uh, is performing correctly across the network and to, see for the, and to be able to watch for those drops in the network. Thanks a lot, and remember you can always download a copy of the Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer and Orion from SolarWinds.com. Give it a try for yourself and let us know what you think.